Today we are learning about the art boards in Photoshop. This is the first part of the three part series. The links of the other two parts are in the description. Think of art boards as the ability to use multiple canvases in a single document. Uses of art boards are many, one of them being the ability to preview website designs in different devices like a desktop, tablet or mobile side by side. There are a couple of ways to create artboards. First is when you create a new document. Check this box under artboards and then create. This will create an artboard. To convert an existing document into an artboard document, select the layers, right click and then artboard from layers. You can give it a name, change its size from the presets or enter numbers here, else it will take up the size of the existing document. So it has created an artboard. The proof is this text saying artboard 1 here and also in the layers panel. The layers are now within the artboard 1 and it has changed the background to a solid color. You can double click here and change the name of the artboard to anything you want. The name will show up here. Anything can be inside an artboard except an artboard inside an artboard. For instance, this first artboard has this normal layer, a hue and saturation adjustment layer, a text layer, a shape layer, and a group. Of course you can have many other things inside your own artboard. There are a couple of ways with which you can scale or transform your artboards. Go to the edge of the canvas. When the cursor changes, left click. It summons the artboard tool. Then drag from any side or corner of the artboard to change the size of the artboard. Another way is you simply click this first artboard and then drag the bounding box the way you want to change the size of the artboard. You can also summon the artboard tool by clicking on the edge of the artboard. You can then select any size from these presets. Or you could enter your size here. To move your artboard across the document, go to the edge of the artboard. When the cursor changes, click and move your artboard. Right now these two options are grayed out because the artboard is square. For them to be active, the artboard needs to be rectangle. Now since the artboard is in portrait mode, the landscape option has become active. If I click this landscape option, the artboard will change to the landscape mode. And now since this artboard is in landscape mode, if I click this portrait option, it will change the artboard into portrait mode. With the artboard tool selected, if I click on this add new artboard button, it will take up the size from here, which is currently showing the size of this artboard because it's selected. And now if I click anywhere on the screen, it will create an artboard 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels identical to this one. To create another artboard, I'll again have to click on this button and then click anywhere on the screen. Now with the artboard tool selected, if I change the size here and then click this button and create an artboard, it will create the artboard with this new size. Clicking the plus button creates duplicates of the artboard on all four sides. But to duplicate the artboards along with its content, you'll have to press Alt and then click on this plus. 
To delete an artboard, select the artboard on the screen or select the artboard in the layers panel and then simply press delete. Thus ends the first part of the artboard series. Do check the other two parts as well. Bye.